This is Martin <laughs> Fletcher in southern Kosovo. <laughs> An emotional return home for Hamdi. Two months ago, Serbs forced him out. This is your bedroom. This is my room. 60% of his town destroyed. Countless stories of atrocities. I saw a man laying down in the street. He was killed. This story began mid-afternoon here, March 24th. The date is important. This man says Serbs herded 50 people inside, then threw in hand grenades. Those who somehow survived ran out, but were mowed down with machine guns. The eyewitness said the Serbs then collected the bodies, took them to a nearby village, and then buried them in a mass grave. But where precisely they were buried was a mystery. Locals suspected it was here, a Serb army training base now abandoned. A few wary residents went with us, and we found mounds of freshly bulldozed earth. We searched carefully, mindful of booby traps. Lots of money, gold ring, human hair. The more we dug, the more disturbing evidence we found. Here's a woman's coat, here's a shoe, and here's a watch buried in the earth. The watch stopped mid-afternoon on the 24th of the month, same time, same day as the massacre. Then part of a smashed human skull, a jawbone, teeth. Too much for Hamdi, another horror to live with. We don't have any future. We just want to come back here and to live some kind of life. But the question is how to live here now with this past. Martin Fletcher, NBC News, Suvareka, Kosovo.